Welcome back to part two of this lexicon repair series. Um, after the last video, I decided I really want to just quickly investigate that 15 volts. That 14.3 volts is a bit low. If there's any circuitry in here which is running rail to rail, it's going to come in unstuck. So we're going to just quickly probe that 15 volt power line. There's a RC4558 down here, a pin 8 is the positive 15 rail so we'll just give that a quick probe I can attach that probe there for now so if we check out pin 8 trying desperately not to short anything out well 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 so as we can see it's 15 volts on this line here uh, definitely has some smoothing issues. Uh, we should definitely have a look at the um, bypass caps. Uh, these look like the plus and minus 15 volt rail regulators, and these are the associated bypassing caps. And this one actually, I don't know, can I get that one? Definitely been put in a bit wonky. So the really good thing about this lexicon prime time is we can take this bottom case off to get to the underneath. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. I don't see any of that white gunk that we saw on the up board above. So We've got to find out where those caps are. Okay, so those two caps are here. There's one here. Should be a thousand UF. Did I get, take my probe off then? Forty ohms. Uh, Zero point five eight microfarads. That's not right. And the other one there, 1000. So, in circuit, it looks like that cap there is not doing too good. And let's whip it out. Yeah, unfortunately, this the legs of these capacitors are a bit too thick for my desolder pump. So, we'll see. I'll suck out what I can. Oh dear, leg has popped out. Okay, on this one we also pulled up a pad. I don't know if I can get that on there, I don't know if you can see. But that pad is not in use. It's um, soldered onto the other side of the board, so that's okay. I suspect that the cap with the broken leg is going to be the one I wanted to measure. Let's see what this says. Yep, that's a good one. So now I can't really measure that other capacitor, so we'll just have to. Um, the place I've got some really nice Nichicon one fan. And we'll just double check the polarity plus minus plus minus. Let's have a look on the scope. 
see what difference that's made. Okay, that's fantastic and clean. Let's see if that's made any difference to our distortion. Okay, so I have put a sine wave into the lexicon and if I turn up the analog input signal into the output mixer we see we have the sine wave and if we add the output from the A engine and now we can see that's very far from a sine wave and if we try the engine B we have nothing okay so it's not coming out of the unit correctly so this prime time is using the AD516JD um, it would also use this MC3410 it's kind of interchangeable um, and to make life more complicated the input comes in here there's some filtering and de-emphasis before it eventually comes into the um, analog to digital converter and then it creates its data to send off to the RAM chips and then this switches over to read the output from the RAM and then you have it does two reads the first A time and then again for the B engine time and they come out here over to here so we could check the input to the DAC here and then the outputs here okay I think that's going to be the best place to start on channel 1 the yellow probe we are m measuring the output of that op amp this is the last op amp before it goes into to be read by the DAC um, the blue probe is measuring pretty much directly out of the DAC the, en the A engine and this pink probe is measuring directly the B engine. I'll just reset the delay times back to zero. This is the input here. So if we check the signal Oh, that doesn't look good. I know that should hasn't got any de emphasis. Did I say de emphasis earlier? I meant emphasis earlier. Uh, there's no de-emphasis on this signal to smooth it out but that still looks a lot rougher than one would expect and let's have a look at the B engine and that's the same so let's move the B engine we can move the A engine right, so the, both delays are there um, that really looks like it's the DAC Uh, an AD five six one JD. I appreciate the JD bit. I suppose we'll have to just see if we can get hold of one. Well, this is quite a turn up for the books. They actually have seventeen left in Mousa. <laughs> Considering the age of this device, I am actually shocked. Sixty pounds though so I guess I will have to talk to the owner and we'll see what we can do so I guess I'll see you on episode 3 of this Lexicon Primetime 93 repair okay see you next time <laughs>